Hello. In this video, <coughs> I'm going to talk about the expected value, and in particular about problems involving fair game rules. As shown in the syllabus. The formula for the expected value is given on page 9 of your formula booklet. Just to remind you, the expected value is the sum sigma of the products of each value multiplied by its respective probability. In gambling, the expected gain of a player from each game is the expected payout or the return from each game. That's the amount it costs them to play. And a game is said to be fair if the expected gain is zero. So mathematically, if x is the discrete random variable that represents the gain of a player, then if e of x is equal to zero, the gain is said to be fair. So if the expected value is zero, the gain is said to be fair. In this first question, the player wins the amount of money according to the number spun on the spinner, as shown in the table to the right. And we're asked to calculate the expected return for one spin of the spinner. So if we start by defining a random variable, and we'll let y equal the return or the payout from each spin. As it's a square spinner, the probability of each outcome is a quarter. And the probability distribution of the payout y is shown in the table here. So to find the expected return, we use our formula for the expected value. And again, that's found by multiplying each of the winnings by their respective probabilities. So in the first case, one multiplied by a quarter, then two multiplied by a quarter, and adding up each of those calculations. So you can see the expected return is four. And that's four dollars. Again, if you wish, you can type the probability distribution into the lists of your calculator and the calculator will calculate the expected value for you. As shown to the right here. Now to find the expected gain of a player, if it costs $5 to play each game, we define a random variable. So we'll let x denote the gain of the player from each game. And since it costs $5 to play the game, then the expected gain is found by subtracting the cost from the payout. 4 subtract 5 is minus $1. So since the expected gain is not equal to 0, the gain is not a fair game. So, since the expected gain is minus one dollar, that means we would expect the player to lose a dollar on average with each spin. So we would not recommend a person play the game. In this question, we're asked to decide whether the game is fair. So again, if we start by defining a random variable. We'll let x be the score on the dice. And to calculate the expected payment, again, we use our formula. As it's a fair standard six-sided dice, each of the probabilities is equal to one six. So the expected payment is equal to $3.50. Again, if you wish, you can do this calculation on your calculator by typing the probability distribution 
into your two lists, as shown on the right here. So since Jenny pays $4 to play the game, we expect her to lose 50 cents when playing this game on average. So again, it is not a fair game. 